Mr. Sachin, you have you played uh, 653 matches? I don't know. <laughs> I've got the stats. 33,959 runs. You know, the number of matches that you have played is incredible. And anyone who talks about your weakening defense must also look at those statistics and look at it in a particular context. Let me ask you, what do you think about the whole question of retirement? Again, I am, I am 39 and I don't think, you know, that it, there is plenty of cricket left in me. Uh, yes, I mean, it, it also depends on how I feel, whether I feel I'm in a frame of mind or physically prepared to deliver. If, if I feel I'm not capable of delivering uh, when it's needed, then, then obviously I need to relook at the whole thing. But I, I also know that, you know, at, at 39, nobody expects me to go on and on. So I know that. A lot and of people actually do. No, but it, uh, uh, it's nice of them that, uh, you know, <laughs> that they, they want me to go on and on. But, uh, you know, one has, one has to be realistic. And uh, to me, I just uh, go by what my heart tells me. The day I feel, no, I'm not, I'm not uh, able to deliver. Now these are two separate things, you know, scoring runs, and what I feel inside. It it can be a coincidence that you know the same, you know, in in, in these three 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 innings that I got out, the same thing had happened at the age of 25. Nobody nobody would have questioned, but it's happening at the age of 39. Everyone will question, which is natural. It's natural. But then I am the best judge to evaluate things because I know what is happening with my body or my mind. And then I'll take a call. It's, it's, it's going to be a tough call. It's going, Very to, tough call, it's going to be a tough call to say that uh, I'm not going to play why, anymore. Why, why, why will it be a tough because call? Because that is what I've done throughout my life. It's been my life. And then all of a sudden there comes a moment where you say, okay, I cannot go on. It's going to be a you tough call. You think about that moment? Yes, I mean, I, I do think about that. I'd be lying if I say, no, no, I'm not thinking of retiring all that. Yes, it comes on my mind. I'm 39 plus. And uh, it's but natural to feel that way. And I don't, I don't see any abnormal, abnormality in, uh, in thinking that way. It's, it's natural. That's the only reason I'm saying that what, uh, whatever my heart tells me, I just got to be what sharp What is your heart telling you now? Well, at this moment, I'm okay, but uh, but you you got to you got to take series by series, and that is how I will see. Sachin, can you be a little more specific? You know, uh, I I understand completely where you're coming from, and I completely admire the way in which you have played your cricket. And let me tell you, Sachin, nobody can take what you've achieved away from you. I want you to today in the course of this interview. Tell me openly about what you think about the R word, retirement. <laughs> you know, it's a, a and, and let me also tell you this, Sachin. I would also, like uh, millions of Indians, completely not be able to come to terms with the fact that Sachin Tendulkar would not be playing for India. But it's mm -hmm. the reality, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so can you get more specific? What are your boundaries? When will it happen? <sighs> What is your calendar, Sachin? Uh, I think to be any more specific than this, I may have to speak in different language. I, I think I've no. been... How many more <laughs> years? How many more years? No, I mean, nobody decides like that. Nobody no. decides. I don't know what's in store. I wish I knew. I mean, if, if I had known, so many things would have happened differently. You know, I would not have to... Uh, had to wait for 22 years to lift the World Cup trophy. I would have done that in the first instance itself in Australia in 1991-92. But there are certain things, uh, you know, which, which you don't know. I mean, most of the things in cricket, you will say that, one would say that you don't know. It is, uh, it is uh, beyond anyone's control. You can only go out and give your best, but you don't know the end result. Will you play the next and, World Cup? And the same thing. No, I, I don't think I'll be playing the next World Cup. Why? I don't think. I'm, I'm already 39, so that's, that's the only reason. You'd be what, reason. by the next World Cup, you'd be... <laughs> 
43. Hard to calculate. 43. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But you know, Sachin, there is nothing which says that a 42 or a 43-year-old Sachin Tendulkar will not be in top mental and physical <laughs> form. After all, there have been very, very few cricketers. Can you name yeah. any cricketer, any one cricketer who has played for 23 years at your level and continued to play? Therefore, the standards are different when it comes to Sachin. You cannot look back at old examples and say, because others did not play. No, well, no, for, I'm, I'm I'd not, say I'm that some, I, if there's some, I, I, I hate comparisons. You hate comparisons. I don't like comparisons. So why not play the Every next World Cup? Every individual likes his why own not? identity and that should be respected. That's fantastic. Why not play the next World Cup? I don't know. At this stage, I don't think it's possible. You're not thinking that far? I'm being very straightforward and honest. I don't think right now it's possible. So then what? In the next one or two years, would you hang your boots? I don't know. I'm, I, as I said that, you know, I'm going to go series by series and then... As long as I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying, you know, and I feel I can, I can give my best and deliver, then it's, then it's fine. It's, it's, it's also about what, uh, what uh, the team feels and also about what I feel inside, whether I'm motivated enough to go out and do the required things to be at the top of the game and then take that decision. Uh, two Pakistani greats have said something similar about you. Javed Miyadat says, I don't know, maybe you don't read this. I don't, so. <laughs> you actually don't, is it? No, I don't. I, I try and stay away from all these things and not, not just this stage of my career. I've done that right from my school days and which is what my brother taught me. Said if you want to be focused on the game, you should stay away from all these things. Let others, you know, appreciate or criticize or whatever. We are just focused on our game and try and improve every day. What are the areas where you can get better? Just focus on that. That's brilliant. Maybe I've done that from my school days. Maybe that's why, you, that's why you played at this level for 23 years? Well, it was, it was the guidance of my brother and uh, his direction. Uh, I, I cannot forget the contribution of my coach, Mr. Ramakant Achrekar, and then various coaches along the way. So, you know, it was a big team working with me. Javed Miyadan says, I don't want to ask Sachin to retire. Nobody can force him or push him. But if you ask me as a cricketer, he has played enough cricket, maybe he'll play for another four to six months. This kind of decision is, is entirely up to the player. It's better to leave cricket when you are wanted. But don't leave when people say, thank God he is gone. Great pe players should leave when they are on top. Imran Khan also says, Sachin is such a great player. But I can only say that if I were in his position, I would leave, want to leave on a high. And my greatest worry was that I would never be at the mercy of the selectors. I look at it differently. I feel when I'm, when I'm at the top, I would look to contribute for the nation. I would not uh, look at my personal interest. Uh, I've been wanting to... I grew up imagining and dreaming of various things. And that was all about doing something special for the nation. So why would you stop when you're at the top? That is only your personal interest. If I feel that I'm at the top and I'm, I'm in a frame of mind to score more runs and I know I can do it, then I might as well play for the nation and do something good for the nation. That's why I said that I've got to go by what my heart tells me and also at the same time evaluate it realistically where I believe I can go out and score runs or not. The day I get that feeling that, no, I'm not good enough to go out and score runs. I need to back off. But I believe that I'm on top and I can score more runs. Why not serve the nation? 